What is up, you guys? You're watching Suja's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, I will leave my Poshmark link down below if you're interested in anything. And today we're gonna be doing my closet clear out. I will say my closet is a hot mess. It's been like this for the last like three weeks, and it's just because I've had such a crazy, such an insane work schedule um you know doing youtube and doing all these other 50 million things trying to live my life so unfortunately life got the best of me especially in the month of march like i've just been working 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 and then obviously in april working 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 so um i, I kind of didn't prioritize my closet and as you can see it literally is a hot mess like there's so much stuff around like stuff thrown around so Today, my goal is to, so I have a clothing rack here. I have a little bit of clothing here that I wanna put back here and everything that's for winter or that I'm gonna sell is gonna be hung so I can sell it on my Poshmark and then whatever's coat so I can put them in the coat closet. So um, I'm hoping to get this done today, um, but we're gonna be going through the things. First of all, I do wanna kinda of give you kinda of like what it looks like. I'm so embarrassed, but this is reality. I'm being really honest with you, and it's gonna look clean cut classic when we're all said and done. And I still have like two piles of just like clothes just on the floor that I really, really have to take care of. I know sometimes it may appear that everything is perfect, clean cut classic and stuff, but you know, I'd be going through the gigs, you know, I mean, I'm, I try to live my life and you know, sometimes uh, when you're living your life in the moment, when you're doing your things, uh, you know, the last thing you want to do after working, you know, 16 hours, you want to go and clean the closet. Definitely, definitely so excited for spring and summer, so I definitely, definitely, definitely need to get this cleared out and hopefully you guys can uh, get some great items or this inspires you or you can walk, clean your closet as you're uh, watching this video. So yeah, do say anything specific um, in this video or show something, I'll make sure to leave it linked down below and let me go ahead and show you. I have kind of like a little bit of a closet tour. I'll leave it linked down below, but as you can see, uh, I'm like embarrassed, but I really don't care. Like, I'm just, this is reality. So, I just have like a bunch of clothes. Like, I have things that I, ha I have to return. I have things that, you know, I've showed in hauls. So, um, definitely, definitely, definitely want to take out a lot of things. I have like all these boxes, you know, I'm not really like a big box person. Um, so, I definitely want to get this figured out. I definitely want to clean house and I definitely want to get rid of a lot of older stuff. I have a lot of new clothing coming in. Like, I ordered a Veronica Beard blazer today and a really pretty blue color and I just need to get ready so um, let's go ahead and start but as you can see uh, this is what it looks like and then I'm also gonna be getting rid of a lot of my sport items that are Lululemon so uh, let's go ahead and kind of clean house and then I also have like chest of drawers too that is not here that I have to clean house like I feel like I need to purify uh, the amount of materialistic items that I have just because I feel like I have so much um, and I just feel like I need to clear, clear, clear out. So normally I have denim here. It's usually sports, third pieces, um, third pieces, and then I have kind of like tops here. So I think I'll just start here and kind of work my way through. So here we have a Burberry trench coat. Um, this one will be going um, in the coat closet. Um, sometimes when I have like looks and stuff, I always like to kind of um, uh, like to have things and sometimes like I just prefer all tier or like I'm in a rush and then all through the sides There's like a bunch of clothes like girl girlies. It's a hot mess. I have this Lafayette top uh, St. Laurent blazer These frame pants that I bought from a haul. So I'll just kind of start putting things where they're supposed to go and I guess um, If I do have to kind of take things see so you already know I don't want the, um, I don't want this I know that I don't want this either. These are some Veronica Beard blazers. I love Veronica Beard, but um, I just got some new ones, so I feel like I no longer need these. So I have this really pretty one because it has kind of a bit of structure here, and this is just kind of a classic uh, black and white one. Both of these are in size 10 and size 8, so I can already put these here in the rack. And then I'll show you everything at the rack right at the end as well. The closet definitely needed to get cleaned up. I definitely needed to clean house, and yeah, it, it took a little bit of a while, but uh, Givenchy Co, my Montclair Puffy, um, my Tory Burch coat, like all these are gonna go in the coat closet, so let's take out a little bit more of the bulkiness of the items, so I have more space to kind of work with the place, I don't even know where to begin. I said that I was gonna start um, the here, 
but I think I'm gonna start out by taking all the hangers and I'm gonna put them here. I always get asked about the hangers. These are my favorite hangers ever. They're from Ikea. I just like, I know some, I used to like the velvet ones, but I found like the velvet ones would kind of make the sides kind of weird. And so I like these ones. I know they can take up a little bit more space, but for me, even though I do have a small closet, I definitely like kind of like the boutique feel of these hangers a little bit more. Um, and that's just me. I mean, some people may love it, some people may not. But for me, I definitely do prefer um, these IKEA hangers. Like, they're some of my favorite ones that um, I own. Like, and I've been through like many phases of hangers. Some blue top that I'm selling. I have some lemon black leggings. These ones are men's, I believe. I don't think I've ever wore them outside the house. I have this one here. I'm gonna get rid of. I need a bean blazer that I bought, and I didn't end up liking it, so. I'm gonna return it back to Norton Rat. Um, put this one in the closet. Um, and the other one, I have this real tank top. I can start by putting that there. A little Vince white top. I can put that here. Some athletic clothes up here, or should I put third pieces? I think I kind of want to put the third piece a little bit more. So we'll start off by putting the Veronica Beer blazer that I got from Norton Rat. Uh, I cannot wait to wear this Brunello Cuccinelli blazer. Um, if you remember this, you are an OG. Look at the price of it, $7,000, 300 bucks. I've been waiting to wear it, so hopefully when I hit 50,000 subscribers, I will wear it. So it should be very, very soon um, when I wear it. I feel like I should hit 50 very, very soon. It should probably be within the next 60 days for sure. If everything comes out good, everything's said and done, and in that time frame, it should, have, it should be completed. Here all my little Agoldi shorts. It is going to be Agoldi summer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put all the Agoldi shorts here, and then so it'll look good. But hopefully said and done at the end, everything should look really good, everything should look really presentable, and it should. when I should come here, I should be very, very um, happy, and I should be able to navigate and find everything. That's the goal that I want from here. I'm realistic. I show things that um, maybe like, like not a lot of other people would show. I think a lot of people would be embarrassed, but I mean, yeah, I mean, for me, it's just kind of, it is what it is. I mean, life got the best of me. I've been losing a little bit of weight. These mousy jeans don't really fit me like that anymore. Those ones are gonna go. Somebody is calling me. Jacket, I feel like I kind of had my moment with it. Here's like a bunch of other clothes. Canada Goose jacket, the big navy one that I bought. I've never worn it. I'm gonna sell it. I feel like I don't need it. I have this little lemon black classic top. Oh, this one's definitely, this is probably one of the most regrettable purchases I've ever made. I, I This is one of the most regrettable purchases I've ever made. I regret a lot of purchases, but that Gucci one was definitely a major regret. Like I said, live your life with no regrets, but that one was a big, big uh, regret for sure. Jeans, I feel like I have 50 million black jeans, and my friend wanted these jeans, I think, so I'm just gonna put them here on the side. I, I'm okay with parting them. I have some black Levi shorts that I'm gonna put right here. Some Burberry swim trunks. Um, Hot Girl Summer's on the way. Um, these little Versace um, pants that I bought that I'm gonna be wearing when I go on vacation, so that's also gonna go here. Um, oh, here's the White Citizens, the ones that I thought I was gonna wear, but I ended up liking the frame ones better, so I don't need two white shorts, so that one's gonna be um, no longer my collection. I feel like I don't need it. See ones that I got for the City Ghost concert. Um, these are Commando, oh my god. I definitely wanna have another moment with them. I'm not sure how to style them because they're very different than a lot of the things that I have in my collection. Cartney lace pants, I got these ones at uh, TK Maxx when I was in the UK. I saw this, I don't usually put I like the hangers to usually be the same, but I don't mind the Stella McCartney hanger, so um, I have that. But I did lose a little bit of weight, so like I had these rag and bone jeans that were like boot cut, and they didn't really fit me, and I love the slit. I feel like the slit on the pants are really in right now, and so now I fit them, so now I can wear them. So I'm um, super excited to bring those out. My little Isabel Ron jacket. I think I can put it in the coat closet, if not, um, I have some A. Goldie jeans. I love A. Goldie. Um, it's one of my favorite denim brands. I, I'm a little picky when it comes to jeans, but I will say um, I do really like A. Goldie for a lot. And then these are some other jeans that I have. Um, and then here I have some newer jeans here that I can put. Mother, mother. There are a new pair of mother jeans as well. So hopefully they fit. They're superior. So sometimes when it's superior, so. 
when it has a superior tag on it it means that it has no stretch so i got 28 i mean i got i think i got 28 27 i think i ordered two normally when it comes to clothing i like to buy them in different sizes you guys know some things i want them to fit super fitted like this white classic tee some things i want them to fit super oversized super tight but every, obviously everything looks proportional so normally i order things in a bunch of sizes and then i kind of decide if i'm going to keep it or if i'm not going to keep it um oh my god since i've been losing weight too oh my god i finally fit into these jeans um, these are some page leather jeans and they are so soft. Rosie, Rosie Hudson Whitley wears these a lot um, and uh, I finally fit them. They look so good on and I can't wait to lose like maybe 10 more pounds and uh, you know they're gonna look even better so uh, I, I can't believe I'm finally fitting into like a lot of the denim and even I was like looking back like on a lot of them like my videos during Christmas I'm gonna turn it a little to you guys yeah it looks a lot better brighter yeah I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys I kind of wanted to chit chat today's been very much a very adamant type of day and you know I love 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 to talk to you guys so I kind of wanted to like chit chat while I kind of clean out um, you know, I just kind of want to kiki with the girls and you know, this is also a really good video Like I said, if you're been wanting to clean your closet if you've been wanting to change things uh, I think it, right now is a really great opportunity because I guess I mean, we're doing it together um, I have like this guest shirt um, This Zachary Perel, I don't know how to pronounce it Another lemon shirt. Oh This maybe Mabel blazer. So all those and um, can go 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 I don't need them in my collection. Mother jeans. <laughs> I have so many mother jeans. It's not even funny. But, I mean, I've had them for a while. And I, I really do like the quality. I know some people don't care for mother jeans. Um, but I do. This girlie loves um, a good mother moment. Blazer of all time on the floor. The Veronica Beard Crystal one. One of my absolute favorite pieces that I own in my collection. Yeah, I do kind of want to put third pieces here. I feel like an active work can go down here. I definitely want to, when I walk in here, my little one-step walking closet, <laughs> I definitely want to, um, I'd rather see third pieces in the front than active. My favorite is a Morant shirt that I've been wearing quite a lot. I really, 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 really love it. Blazers that I think I'm ready to part ways with. So, um, this is uh, E-I-D-O-S, I don't know, Ralph Lauren, uh, two vintage ones. Um, I'm ready to part ways with them. Can we for everything said and done for everything to look very good and polished? Sure, I have a theory button up shirt, uh, a Lafayette button up shirt, um, little Vince one that I have. I it doesn't really fit the way I wanted to, so I can feel like I can let that go. Right here. A little shell moment. We love shells. Shells always make an outfit, especially in the hot Texas heat. You can always never have enough shells or like little tank tops like that because they just they're just like the perfect item. Oh, brand new Lululemon with tags, brand new Lululemon with tags. Um, oh, this Anina Bean t shirt, I'm kind of over it. Um, this James Pierce top, um, this Peanuts that's all the other way around, this kind of Peanuts champion little. I mean, I guess it's like it's a sweatshirt. Fine. It already looks like a million times better, guys. Like, like it literally looks a million times better. This sweaty Betty. Um, I think I'm short. I think they're clean, but I'm just gonna wash them. I mean, I'm not gonna wear them anymore. But if it's if it's not hung up and I'm gonna sell it, I'm gonna wash it or dry clean it. I have this Givenchy belt. I have not even worn it. I think I'm just gonna give it to my brother. Or I may um. Look at it. I have it in the black one and I like it, but I have I bought this one and I haven't worn it, so I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I have this treasure and bond little turtleneck. Um, I'm just gonna give this to my friend, so I'm gonna put it over here. Oh my god, yeah, there's like so much stuff. I have this Vince uh, sweater. Um, I got this one like a year ago. One of my closest friends, her mom gave me a gift card to Nordstrom, and so it was clear the rack and I bought this. I love the color of it. Um, I think I'm gonna put this one in the winter thing too. Hopefully I can fit a lot of my winter stuff there. Valentino shoes. I don't know if they're listed on Poshmark, but I think I'm just gonna sell them on my Instagram for like really, really cheap. I just, 
I just don't want them in my collection anymore. I just, I, I would rather have this space. Uh, my favorite camel suit studio jacket is right here. I love it. It's super nice. It's super lightweight. A lot of my friends tell me, well, once you're done with it, I want it because it looks so good on you. But it's actually one of my favorite um, items in my collection that I um, bought for my mom. So I have to give her that. I've literally had it forever. Asia's that I have to return that I didn't like. Madden shoes that I got from a haul for my mom, I have to give her that. I even have like the Loewe bag, I have everything thrown in the, uh, in, on the floor. Some mother jeans, pants that I don't think I'm going to wear. I think I worn them one time. This Veronica Beard blazer with the gold butt. So, bye bye baby, I don't really need you. Like a Ritzia body seal. Free shoes that I have to give to my mom. Ain't they so cute? I love that they take the TV on them. They're so adorable. I have those. This is a workout. Like, I'm kind of sweating. I have this, another white button up. This stod back, I'm gonna get rid of. So, I'm gonna put that down there. I have a Louis Vuitton shopping bag with these boots from Paige. A Sherpa, a Levi's jacket. This one's gonna be going into my coat closet. Pants that my friend gave me, but I'm not gonna wear them, so. I'm gonna see if she wants them back, or I will just don't. I have some good American jeans that have a little bit more of um, a flair to them. Um, I wash them, and so um, I'm not gonna wear them. So I think I'm gonna give those to my friends, or I'm gonna put them on Poshmark. Gifted some things, so I think I'm just gonna recycle that. Lemon uh, tank top that I don't think I don't think I wore it, but I'm gonna wash it before I put it on Poshmark. I think that's kind of. And sanitary, have a receipt. Little thing from the Canada Goose um, that I have to put on Poshmark. Um, I think I'm just gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it for what I paid for, so I got a really good deal on it. I have this other Lululemon men's shirt. I'm gonna wash it before I list it on Poshmark. My Aquatalia boots. So I think um, on this side right here, on the high, I think I'm just gonna put all my shoes um, that are in my shoe um, wall at the bottom. Just because I, I, if I put them at the bottom, I feel like I'm not going to wear them. But if they're here under the clothes, I feel like I would wear them. Oh my god, I totally forgot about these mother jeans. I'm going to see if my friends want them or I'm just going to return them. But I have a pair of mother jeans up the floor right there. I took this Acne Studio shirt that I only wore for a video. I never actually wore it out. I got it from Stocks in um, Beverly Hills. The body suit, I'm just going to wash it. Um, some shorts, I'm just going to wash them. I have these socks. These are my favorite socks. The Bomba socks. They're like the favorite socks. Like I, I really wear those a lot when I do a lot of athletic because they give me even more comfort than the actual uh, running shoe. I have a wide foot, so sometimes my feet can hurt. Um, but yeah, I have like my coach kits here. I think I'm just gonna make it like a little bit of a wall, like a little bit. I'm think I'm just gonna make it like a little bit of a section of the shoe. VF pants that I have to get altered. Aren't they so cute? The color. I literally bought these two years ago and I have yet to get them altered, even though. I took a few things to get altered. Ugh, I love it, and now they fit. The reason why I didn't get them is because they didn't fit. So I'm gonna put those there, and I'm gonna take those to the alterations, uh, so they can, so I can wear them. Ooh, everybody's favorite birthday shirt. Who doesn't love a good birthday shirt? I love it. The birthday shirt, the baby shower shirt, whatever. I know some people call my trench coat the baby shower shirt. I don't know. I don't think it's a baby shower shirt because it's a trench coat. You know, everybody has a trench coat. Oh, who remembers this? This theory hoodie that I got from TJ Maxx, like during when the store started opening back up. Um, I'm gonna put this one in here. I actually do like it. Cashmere turtleneck. Um, I have it in the cream color as well. I'm gonna see if it fits in the coat closet. If it doesn't, I may fold it and just put it in the chest of drawer. Take some clothes out and make space for them. Here's down here. I have my Revolva luggage in here. Um, and all my remote, you know, I have three of them, so I put them all in one. One in one, so it fits good. A little nude of a bodysuit moment. Um, black lace um, top. The running jacket. I love it because it kind of gives me the illusion of being skinny because it kind of like, I don't know, because it has this. It just looks a lot more flattering. I'm gonna put that at the bottom. Oh my god, guys, it looks a lot better. I have some aloe sweatpants. Um, and I'm so happy. <laughs> like, it, I literally needed this. 
these good American workout pants. I don't really want them anymore because I don't have any other. Um, I'm very kind of weird when it comes to things. I love my things to be very, very corresponding. So if they're not corresponding, I kind of um, want it. Like I like sets. You know what I mean? Like if I invest into a brand, especially like working out, like I don't like Puma, Nike, and then whatever. I really like everything to be very uniform. And so um, that's why I really, right now for athletic clothes, I only really have Sweaty Betty and Aloe. And I may add more brands later on. But I feel like those are the brands that I kind of want. I have this little fashion pile, a little baggy. They're flattering on me. Uh, I love the color, but I just don't like that. It kind of shows it. And I find that it's something it's very inappropriate. Vince pants that I got altered not too long ago. Love them. I got these ones from the outlet in San Marcos. I kind of want to go to San Marcos. Um, I think I went I went in December and I definitely want to go back again. I have a navy and uh, lemon short. I really, really need some workout shorts, but uh, it's on the floor, so I'm gonna wash it. Um, I have these sweaty Betty sweatpants. Um, I'm going to put them down here. Yeah, I prefer my workout clothes like down here. I feel like it's like a lot better. I had sold it on Poshmark, but then the ice storm happened. Remember the ice storm like a month ago? And so I had already had it all packaged and everything up. But since the ice storm happened, I wasn't able to ship it. And so the person actually canceled. See where they were coming from. Maybe they needed it for something. But I'm going to relist it back on Poshmark. Like I said, I, there's nothing wrong with it except the little nick, which I'll post in the picture. The only reason why I wasn't able to ship it was because the ice storm and I literally physically could not take my car out. And I did not want to walk by myself so um i'm gonna relist it so if you guys wanted it you guys have it Jicks, they're in a size 41 they're a little too big i'm gonna sell them and when a 40 comes in stock at the next shoe event at last call uh, i'll buy them i just feel like they're a little little too too big and fortunately it looks kind of weird so i kind of don't want anything to look out of place so i have green lululemon again i will say one thing about lululemon is that it has a really really good um resale value so you can always go to them i'm gonna put this right here and then i'm gonna adjust it later i have a bunch of boxes i'm not sure if i want to uh, my dior sneakers same thing i think i'm just gonna post them on instagram and i'm about to show my michelle watch as well the one that i got from the outlet last year i want to get rid of it um the dior shoes just haven't sold and i just rather um i rather just take the l and keep it moving this little clay birch box I'm not sure what this one was for, but I really like the little box. So I have shoe boxes. I have an Isabel Marat shoe box. I don't know. I say that I don't really want to keep, I don't really keep boxes, but I kind of like them. It looks very proportional. So I think I'm just going to keep them. And when I move out after my lease ends, I'm just going to put them. But these are the ones from, these are the quick clean boxes that I got from last couple. Bags. I'm about to do a long shot video, so um, I'm actually going to put these uh, next to my desk so I can uh, see how I kind of want to go about filming a long shot video. But um, I have these ones, and this one's so cute. It's like a little lunch box. I'm going to put it over here. I have quite a bit of like clothes to wash. I have like a lot of clothes in my car. I tried selling these, but since I lost weight... Um, oh, I've also been getting asked how much pounds have I lost. So I, I used to weigh like maybe like 175, and now I'm like 165. And it's been like 164 and a lot of it is i just don't attack myself in a lot of food and my sugar intake has been very not as much as it used to be so i just feel like i mentally and physically like i was kind of in a moody mood um but i physically feel like a lot better like i feel like i have so much energy i feel like i just feel better and you know i would go to in and out and this is really embarrassing and i will make a video about this and i am kind of documenting a lot of things but i would like go to in and out and i'm not even being funny like i'm being straight for real like i would go to in and out i would buy like three burgers and animal fry a large fry and i would eat it all in such a big city or if i go to a restaurant i'll order a big pizza and i'll eat it by myself um i would just like anything that i made um at home like i would just be in such large proportions and every time I, I ate and so I felt like I wanted to throw up and I felt like that really wasn't healthy. And so I just kind of am very moderate in what I eat. So like if I do, like I'll still go out and have that in and out burger, which I really like. Um, but I'll just get one burger and maybe the animal fries and then like water. Another thing is too, I cut out um, 
I cut out even though yesterday I went to an event with one of my close friends and she gave me she gifted me a pack of monster energy I mean, I guess I will drink them, but I won't drink them like on a daily basis um, I actually have to get that for my car. It's in my car me the the way I feel better and a lot of my clothes fit a lot better like the Veronica Beard classic Dickie the black one with my stomach when I put it on if I like went like that I was I was you could I can pop off the little button like you know what I mean and now as much as I want to it doesn't like a lot of my jeans like these Agody jeans fit really big I ordered some new Agody jeans um, I think I'll be doing a little bit of a denim purge um, I definitely don't want to go back to my eating habits at all like I really really don't like I feel a lot better it took a little bit of a stage but I just feel a million times better and I'm planning to lose um, I kind of want to lose weight um, I would be really ideal at 150 i feel like i kind of let myself go a little bit um i just wouldn't care be like oh like i'm young like i can bounce back up and i don't know i think um i just wasn't feeling myself um on the outside on the inside i just always felt so bloated and i just ne felt so congested and now i feel like myself i feel like a million times better i feel focused i feel i feel like my best and i really really needed like that to happen so i'm super super happy um, that I've been working out, that I've been losing a little bit of weight. I just ultimately feel a lot better. This is better. Like, I feel energized. I feel like I can have long days and I don't feel stressed out. Because I feel like I would get stressed out and I would eat stress. And I don't really, I don't really do that. If I, if I feel stressed out, instead of me actually um, eating, like, if I feel very, very stressed, I'll just go work out. And then I'll put music on, I'll zone out, I'll do my thing. And then when I get back, I can get like shower or whatever I need to get done. And I, I feel fine. These Golden Goose boxes, I don't think I want it. Do people keep these? I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna recycle it. I don't really care for the box. I do really like this Nordstrom um, New York City box. I think I'm gonna keep it if I can make space for it. This Lululemon uh, long sleeve top that was up there. I'm just gonna wash it. I don't think I wanna put it back. I have all my um, Chanel boxes. I am, um, I think I'm just gonna leave them where they're at. I think they're fine. Those that I have to return. I had bought them for my mom. These Prada shoes, uh, they're so hard to fit into my foot. I'm still debating if I wanna keep them. They hurt so freaking bad. Like, I can barely move, but I think, I may just return them if I'm being honest. They were, they're just a little too fluffy. My Givenchy belt for the trench coat. I have this product shopping bag. Just a bunch of, I'm just gonna recycle all this. I have a dust bag. This is the box that I got that one brand of. And they gave me a free card case. I am doing a video. Um, on this brand, so I'm still gonna keep the box, but um, after the video, I think I'm just gonna recycle the box. You can see, I want to show you because I feel like sometimes on the iPhone it looks a little bit better, but I mean, I'm gonna like vacuum here. I have this crate that I got like a long time ago. I'm about to throw a lot of clothes in the wash. I'm gonna take the removal luggage out, I'm gonna give it such a deep clean. What it looks like so far, I'm gonna I have so much other clothes, but I just love the shorts, I love everything. It's starting to be become a lot more organized. I don't have a little bit more to get done, but I mean, what it was before, it was I mean, it's absolutely like it's absolutely a lot better. Like the rack, I still have like a lot of things, and I have like stuff right there. So, I mean, it is pretty embarrassing. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you, like me showing you this, like I'm I'm kind of even complimenting um, on even posting this, but I mean, I like to keep it real. I mean, I'm a human being, like. Yes, I do YouTube. Yes, I, I love fashion and everything. But, you know, sometimes, you know, life gets the best of you. And like I said, I've been focusing on myself. That I kind of um, not been focusing on my closet. And now I'm going to be cleaning it up. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to clean it up here for like maybe like 20 minutes. And then I'll come back here and I'll show you how everything looks like. Laundry. Um, here's an update. It was really messy here. So here I have some packages that I have to go through. I have all these little US post office uh, little boxes when I start shipping stuff. Um, I mean, I think about this apartment that it's pretty like it goes all the way up there. So I appreciate that. So I think it's fine there. 
here are all my coats. I ended up putting all the knits in the chest of drawers. Um, I put them in one of them. They all fit there with all the winter accessories like scarves, beanies, and gloves. I don't have a lot, but you know, it fit enough. So much clutter, so much stuff. Like it was a hot mess. It was like boxes and I finally am going through all of it. So it did fit all the coats. I mean, I did was able to put the Vince one and the Nina Bean jacket and the jacket here, but I can maybe fit like one more jacket, but um, everything fit perfectly. I'm still contemplating if I want to sell the Canada Goose vest because I already have the Montclair one. I kind of prefer the Montclair one, but I'm going to ask my brother to see if he wants it. But um, I did like uh, the way it looks right now. I'm about to clean the bottom and I think I'm going to put... Uh, I may actually put the shoes that that I put around the closet. I'm actually really, really happy. Like, from what it was earlier is crazy. So I just vacuumed and everything. It's the next day. I got busy with a little bit of computer work. That VN, and I'm going to show you some of the things I'm going to be selling. But I really like it. So here we have all the tops. We have boxes, Chanel boxes, a Goyard shopping bag, my pull-in, and then the JW Pay. I have two hats right there. Um... I am going to get a couple of packages today, so hopefully I have a little bit of ready to wear and I could probably do a haul and put it up later this week, um, depending if I'm going to keep the items. You can see a lot of shells, a lot of white body so it's a very Sergio Secret staple. Um, here I have obviously my third pieces. I don't really have a lot. Like I said, I rather have less, but if it has more about Here I have my workout clothes. I have a lot of it in the washer and the dryer right now. A lot of the, I like put all the things that I'm selling into one wash. It, a lot of it's also um, hang drying. So that, I have all those extra hangers. Here I have, um, I'll give you my Easter outfit. I haven't showed anybody. So um, you're gonna be the first one if you watch this. Um, here's your Sunny and Being Set. Here's the black one. Here's the nude one. I have my Dickie here. So I'm gonna be wearing this um, Veronica Beard blazer um in this white linen and i actually found the matching short so i mean we're gonna give the easter fantasy and with the low wavy basketball i mean the whole fantasy away so so this is the outfit that i'm gonna be wearing for easter and then what i also liked is i had this cart and it was full of like receipts and stuff things that i had to kind of attend to and so i kind of um cleared it out and so i never really had a space for my belt so i put all my belts here so i only i only have four scrunchy one this one this one from a long time ago and the zenga belt and then here i put some of my other bags so my all saints bag my troy birch mcgraw my troy birch satin bag and then my little little Bay bag and so i kind of put it here i really like it because it's like super clean but I actually really like the way it turned out, and obviously, like, all the shoes are around here, and it's here as well, so, um, I, I like the way it turned out, and then here I have all my little short sets, so I have, I'm so ready for summer, as you can see, I have, like, a lot of cute things to wear, I'm so glad that I didn't end up selling these, so now I have two Burberry swim trunks, and then all my denim, and then here I need more of these type of hangers, so I have a little bit of them, a little bit of them hanging right there. But I really, 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 really liked it. I put all my knitwears in the drawers and then in the other closet. So, I mean, I like the way it looked out. Uh, definitely, I feel so happy. I get to see everything. And now I get to see what I'm missing for my wardrobe and what I need. So, like I said, I tell you guys to follow me on uh, Poshmark. I think a lot of these will be going on Poshmark. It was another video today, but I decided to t that I'm going to post this. So... I have like this Veronica Beard blazer that I'm gonna sell. A lot, I have like a lot of Lululemon too. I have these good American pants and I think I'm gonna try on a lot of the items. Like some of it I have to return, like I have to give this to my uncle. I have these two Lululemon items, like brand new with a tag. Um, I have like a little bit of cute items, this little gold Veronica Beard blazer, acne studio top. Um, so I have a little bit of good things. I have the Canada Goose jacket too. Um, some sunglasses that I'm gonna be selling. I don't even know what's in here. So I have like a classic wavy and aviator. Um, I have another one in here. I have a pair of Maui gyms. Um, the, you know, these never ever go on sale. Um, I think this is probably gonna be one of the pricier items. I think it's 300, but I'm gonna give it to you for a good price. But Maui gym never, 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 ever goes on sale. So I have that pair. I have another pair of Maui gyms too. Um, I, I, I think I've only worn them. I think I've only worn them one time. I have that. Um, I have a pair of Chanel sunglasses too. Um, I just really want to start. I want to clear out all this stuff. Like, I mean, 
a lot of it is gonna, some of it has to get returned, some of it um, um, I'm gonna sell, but I really, really am trying to, I don't want none of this to ever go back into the closet. So I'm gonna really make it a focus this week for all of this to be gone and whatever's gone, um, whatever stays, I think I'm just gonna donate, but I have these Chanel sunglasses, I have to clean them up. A little bit of near fantasy, them in the case, they retail for $4.45. Um, I think I'll sell them for like 200 bucks. Card holder too that I'm gonna sell. I have um, as the Stodd Moon bag. I have these pairs of Celine glasses. I'm gonna sell these are retail for 500. So I have like a little bit of good things. I'm gonna clean these ones one more time. I'm gonna clean the shoes. It's not like a whole, whole lot, but it is some good, decent things if you are looking on. Oh, and then I'm selling my Square Michelle watch. So um, you'll see everything get posted as this video is uploaded. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this little gay video. You saw me go through the gigs. Everything looks a lot better. Like I really, I've never done such a deep clean. Like I had drawers full of like receipts and stuff for taxes. And I finally have, I'm getting everything set up. Um, but yeah, um, I've just been living life, but I'm so glad that I'm taking the week to actually clean out stuff and it's going to feel so good to take out everything and everything's going to get a new home. So, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one and I'll leave my password and everything linked down below. And yeah, just appreciate all the love guys. Even in the drawers I got to clean out, like I've never had it this clean and then all my sunglasses are here and I actually found like a lot of sunglasses that I totally forgot about. Like I totally forgot that I own this. Like, there's, it's just gonna be, I just love the clear out that I did. And then also here in the drawer, um, I was able actually to have a free drawer, so I'm gonna um, sanitize it. And even like here at the bottom, um, I was able to put um, my printer, I have a gun ticketer, and then I have all these dust bags. I never, I normally put all the dust bags in one big bag, like my Tofar bag or my St. Laurent, but I think all my dust bags are going to start going here. But yeah, super, super happy with the clear out and so excited to be more focused in my space.